The chemistry of mind is different from the chemistry of love. The mind is careful, suspicious. It advances little by little. It advises, be careful, protect yourself. Whereas love says, let yourself go. The mind is strong and never falls down. While love hurts itself, falls into ruins. But isn't it in ruins that we mostly find the treasures? A broken heart hides so many treasures. You learn by reading, but understand by love. Intellect takes you to the door, but it doesn't take you into the house. It is never too late to ask yourself, am I ready to change my life? Am I ready to change myself? However old we are, whatever we went through, it is always possible to be reborn. If each day is a copy of the last one, what a pity. Every breath is a chance to be reborn. But to be reborn into a new life, you have to die before dying. Instead of resisting changes, surrender. Let life be with you, not against you. If you think, my life will be upside down, don't worry. How do you know down is not better than upside? When everyone is trying to be something, be nothing. Range with emptiness. There are more fake guides and teachers in the world than stars. The real guide is the one who makes you see your inner beauty not the one who wants to be admired and followed. A life without love is a waste. Should I look for spiritual love or material or physical love? Don't ask yourself this question. Discrimination leads to discrimination. Love doesn't need any name, category or definition. 
Love is a world itself. Either you are in it, at the centre, or either you are out, yearning. The whole universe is summed up in the human being. The devil is not a monster waiting to trap us. It is a voice inside. Look for your devil in yourself, not in the others. Don't forget that the one who knows their devil knows their God. It is pointless trying to know where the way leads. Think only about your first step. The rest will come. The universe is a complete unique entity Everything and everyone is bound together with some invisible strings. Do not break anyone's heart. Do not look down on those weaker than you. One sorrow at the other side of the world can make the entire world suffer. One's happiness can make the entire world smile. This world is like a mountain. Your echo depends on you. If you scream good things, the world will give it back. If you scream bad things, the world will give it back. Even if someone says badly about you, Speak well about them. Change your heart to change the world. Patience is not sitting and waiting, it is foreseeing. It is looking at the thorn and seeing the rose, looking at the night and seeing the day. Lovers are patient and know that the moon needs time to become full. The past is an interpretation. The future is an illusion. The world does not move through time as if it were a straight line proceeding from the past to the future. 
Instead, time moves through and within us in endless spirals. Eternity does not mean infinite time, but simply timelessness. If you want to experience eternal illumination, put the past and the future out of your mind and remain within the present moment. You can study God through everything and everyone in the universe because God is not confined in a mosque, a synagogue or a church. But if you are still in need of knowing where exactly God's abode is, there is only one place to look in the heart of a true lover. Whatever happens in your life, no matter how troubling things might seem, do not enter the neighbourhood of despair. Even when all doors remain closed, God will open up a new path only for you. Be thankful. It is easy to be thankful when all is well. A Sufi is thankful not only for what they have been given, but also for all they have been denied. No matter what people call you, you are just who you are. Keep to this truth. You must ask yourself how it is you want to live your life. We live and we die. This is the truth that we can only face alone. No one can help us. So consider carefully what prevents you from living the way you want to live your life. Don't search for heaven and hell in the future. Both are present now. Whenever we manage to love without expectations, calculations, negotiations, we are indeed in heaven. Whenever we fight or hate, we are in hell.
The real dirt is not outside, but inside, in our hearts. We can wash all stains with water. The only one we can't remove is the grudge and the bad intentions sticking to our hearts. You can be everything in life, but the important thing is to be a good person. Do not worry about tricks and cheaters. If some people are trying to trap and hurt you, Allah is also trapping them. Hole diggers will always fall in their holes. No bad remains unpunished. And no good remains without being awarded. So have faith in justice and let the rest be. If you want to change the way others treat you, you should first change the way you treat yourself. Unless you learn to love yourself fully and sincerely, there is no way you can be loved. Once you achieve that stage, however, be thankful for every thorn that others might throw at you. It is a sign that you will soon be showered in roses.